Well guys, hey, we made it to Tuesday morning, but I got a problem. You can see I've pulled over here to this little uh, side strip. I left out of the shipper this morning about 5.30. Been driving about two and a half hours. So let me take this opportunity to show you what's wrong. I've got a trailer tire back here that's uh, got a big bolt in it or something. Right here. You can even hear the air still coming out of it. But So I've done a breakdown for them and uh, just waiting on uh, reply back. You know, what they'll do is they'll find a nearby truck repair outfit and dispatch them here and they'll replace the tire. They'll be able to replace it right here, you know. Luckily, I found this spot where there's room for them to work, but let me also show you this load. This is a weird load. So, um, look at the lower level product that's on here. It's about a 50 foot sheet or two sheets of steel. And then on top, it's got more stuff on there. But man, when they were bringing this lower level with the crane i thought oh man i hope that's not for me <laughs> but it was so yeah so what i've done here on the securement is i did a cross chain in the front here on the top section and then i got several chains over the top along with a couple of straps back here it's just, uh, it's kind of a weird load and it's pretty flimsy. This stuff up here is pretty flimsy, you know? So, um, then I put one chain back here just to hold this down so this board wouldn't come out. You know, keep it from flopping around. This is just where I've got my loose chain bungeed around. But that's what we got. So I'm just sitting here probably take at least a couple of hours for this to get done what caught my eye to let me know i had a problem was this white light here that that goes off when your air your tire air system has a problem so i saw it flickering and i pulled over and checked and sure enough bad tire all right more later okay folks so my repair technician rebel is here he's with the love speedco outfit out of seguin texas and he's got my tire off he's got to take it off the rim and put on another one just to show you what's going on here um i'm i don't know if you can see this but there's the nut in the tire right there kind of anxious to see what's under it Kind of weird to have the nut on the outside. So, uh, I thought I'd show you a little bit of this. Luckily, I was able to make it to this little pull-off spot here where he has a little bit of room to work and we're not out in the road. But, uh, all right, well, I'll show you some of it if I get a good look at that cause of the damage. One other thing, too. Maverick instructs us to um, bring the bad tire back with us, if at all possible. I think it saves them, you know, a disposal fee. So what I'm gonna do is set the tire up here and then put a two inch strap over it. I'll have to take it off to get unloaded and then put it back on. So it's kind of a pain in the rear, but I can do it. Now, if I was carrying a full trailer load of drywall or lumber or something, I might not be able to return it. I have had that happen before. But, uh, all right, let's see if he's got a look at this. He's looking at the inside of it. Through and through the pole, just the nut. 
for the most part. The end of it. Oh. Yeah. Weird. I don't know, man. I was expecting to see a bolt or something through the other side of that nut, but it doesn't appear that that's what it is. That's weird. That's really weird. All right, guys. Well, guys, I've arrived here in Fort Worth at my customer, or at least they're up the road a couple hundred yards. I can see the sign, hopefully where I'm supposed to turn in, but the problem is it's 3.32 and their receiving hours on my work order end at 3.30. You know, that three hour delay I had with the flat tire has messed me up. But I'm gonna to try to get in there and see if I can get lucky and get unloaded. I've never been to this place, so I don't know what to expect here. I tried to call twice in the last uh, 40 minutes or so and uh, couldn't get an answer. All right, so this is where I'm supposed to turn in. I got drivers acting all crazy everywhere. Looks like they're still open anyway. Let's see what happens here. CHM Industries. Uh, huh. Well, I'm going to park right here and see if I can get some instructions. Okay, folks, well, I went in there and uh, got some instructions, and it looks like I'm going to get unloaded. At least that, that's what it feels like. <laughs> so the nice folks in the receiving office over there to the left told me to come on down. This little road. You know, from the sound of the voicemail I got when I called here earlier, this place, place makes uh, these big light poles like you see here on the ground to the left with this sheet steel maybe. That's just my guess. So they told me to come down here to the end of the building and hang a left. And there'd be a couple of forklifts out here. And they could unload me. Uh, okay. Well. sure where I'm supposed to go from here. Uh, there's two forklifts down there straight ahead but he made it sound like I needed to hang a left here which uh, I can do. I think maybe those forklifts are going to come around where they can get to them. So I'm going to go ahead and make this left because I bet they unload me and then take this stuff inside. I don't know! 
Oh, it's rough. Okay. Here comes a fella out here. Maybe he knows something. Yeah. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, so they had me back into this spot. They got two forklifts. Gonna tag team this, it looks like. Gonna get the whole thing all at once. Wow. Woo, timber. He's telling me to move back. You can see I had to take my flat tire off of there. So once I get that moved, I'll uh, get these timbers put away. I don't know. All right, let me see what he wants. All right, guys. Well, I got all my stuff put away, got unloaded threw away my the timbers that weren't mine and uh, they sent me an order pretty quick surprisingly it's not going to the Home Depot distribution center um, it's going to JM Huber up in Broken Bow Oklahoma which I was at a couple of weeks ago picking up in the morning I got a open window from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and we're about four hours from there of course we'll be fighting massive traffic to get out of Dallas so I'm just gonna try to get out of Dallas and find a place to park I've got about two and a half hours on my clock and then we'll get it get the order picked up in the morning so that's what we're doing <laughs> 